So next, we'll solve some of the problems uh, based on this force in Newton laws of motion. So first one is, it is required to increase the velocity of a scooter of mass 80 kg from 5 to 25 meter per second in 2 seconds. Calculate the force required here. So here, what is the given? Mass is given 80 kg. So directly kg is given. So no need to convert it. From 5 to 25 meter per second. 5 to 25 meter per second means initial velocity is 5 meter per second. So initially it was 5 meter and finally it has become 25 meter per second in 2 seconds. So time here is given 2 seconds. We have to find out the force here. So force formula F is equals to M into A. So, mass is given, but acceleration is not given. So, first we have to find out the acceleration. So, that is A is equals to V minus U divided by T. V is nothing but 25 minus 5 divided by T is 2 second. So, 25 minus 5 uh, is nothing but 20 divided by 2 is equals to 10 meter per second square. So, acceleration we have got 10 meter per second square. So, force is equals to mass 80 into acceleration is 10. So, you will get 800 Newton. This is the force required to accelerate or to increase the velocity of mass 80 kg. Next question is, a cricket ball of mass 70 gram moving with the velocity of 0.5 meter per second is stopped by a player in 0.5 seconds. What is the force applied by player to stop the ball? So, it's an example we can give for the Newton second law of motion, isn't it? Some mass will be there, it's some velocity that object, that ball is coming and a player has stopped. That means the player has catched that ball or he may stop that ball. What is the force applied by player to the to stop that ball. So, first let me write what is the given. Mass is given. 70 gram is given. Let me convert into the kg. So, 70 divided by 1000. So, if I cancel it, I will get it as 0 0.07 kg. This is the mass and velocity is given 0.5 meter per second and as well as see it is in initial velocity u is there and it is stopped by the player they have said that the player has stopped that ball stop that ball means final velocity of that ball has become zero time given it is 0.5 second okay we have to find out the force applied by the player to stop the ball so force is nothing but mass into acceleration so, directly in here itself, I will substitute. Mass is nothing but 0 0.07 into acceleration is nothing but V minus U divided by T. So, 0 0.07 into V 0 minus initial velocity 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.5. So, 0.5 by 0 0.5 is nothing but 1. But here negative is there 0 0.07 into minus 1 so you will get minus 0 0.07 newton so that means he has applied force force we have got minus 0 0.07 newton if force we have got minus 0 0.07 newton means the player has applied the, for example ball is coming in this direction the player has applied the force in opposite direction because of that the ball has stopped that means we Negative sign indicates the force is opposite to the direction of motion of the ball. So, next problem is a boy of mass 60 kg running at 3 meter per second. So, a boy is running uh, whose mass is 60 kg at 3 meter per second jumps onto a trolley of mass 140 kg moving with the velocity of 1.5 meter per second. That means the boy mass, I'll consider M1 is 60 kg here and he will be moving with the velocity that is initial velocity 3 meter per second. A trolley that means M2 I'll consider as 140 kg that will be moving U2 is equals to 1.5 meter per second. That means the trolley was moving 
so the, this boy of 60 kg mass jumps into the trolley so in the same direction what is their common velocity that means what is their final velocity after they jumped okay after the boy has jumped to the trolley his his velocity after jumping will be same as the trolley's velocity that means final velocity of the boy is same as the final velocity of the trolley so to find out this we have to use the law of conservation of momentum so what is law of conservation of momentum says momentum before collision is same as momentum after collision here momentum before collision here means momentum before jumping is same as momentum after jumping so that means m1 u1 momentum before jumping so of the boy m2 u2 of the trolley before jumping is equals to the after jumping the mass will be different mass of the boy and the mass of the trolley is different but after jumping their velocity will remain same so first momentum before jumping let us find out it so m1 is 60 into u1 is 3 so plus m2 that is uh, trolley mass into 1.5 so 63 180 plus 220 is equals to you are getting 390 kg meter per second this is the initial one now final one will find out final one m1 is 60 into v1 and v2 are same so i'll consider a general v here plus 140 into v2 is nothing but v here 60 plus 140 into v because we have taken common 60 plus 140 means 200 v here v kg meter per second so velocity is equals to now v is equals to 390 divided by 200 so you will get 1.95 meter per second so this is the velocity after jumping that is with the both boy as well as the trolley thank you